Recently, the Russian Navy has received a new diesel-electric submarine, the Velikai Luki, a modified Project 766 Lada, which is being considered as an effective countermeasure against enemy submarines of various types, from diesel-electric to nuclear-powered submarines. Today, the U.S. Navy has only several types of nuclear submarines. The Ohio-class SSBN, several Ohio-class submarines converted into SSGNs, numerous Virginia-class multi-purpose submarines, and a few extremely expensive submarines due to their technical Seawolf's difficulties. The primary threat to Russia comes from the Ohio-class SSBNs, which carry Trident II SLBMs capable of delivering missile strikes along a flat trajectory. The Virginia-class and Seawolf-class submarines, on the other hand, pose a threat to Russian SSBNs, as they are submarine hunters for our submarines, stealthily lying in wait outside naval bases. This applies to American nuclear submarines. Furthermore, our Pacific fleet in the Far East is seriously threatened by the latest Japanese Soryu-class diesel-electric submarines, which boast exceptional stealth characteristics and an air-independent propulsion system AIP, dramatically increasing their endurance. Furthermore, we face the challenge of confined waters like the Black and Baltic Seas. The latter, after Finland and Sweden joined NATO, de facto became an internal one. Despite the significant numerical superiority of NATO's surface forces, the German and Swedish Type 212A and Gotland-class anaerobic submarines dominate the submerged force. This dominance is achieved through the advantages of diesel-electric submarines, which are much smaller and produce significantly less noise than nuclear submarines. Running at low speed on battery power, diesel-electric submarines are capable of stealthily approaching and successfully ambushing even a much more powerful and heavily armed nuclear-powered vessel. Submarines of the modified Project 677, which includes the Velikai Luki class, have a powerful sonar system on their bows, only slightly inferior to that of a nuclear-powered submarine. This means that, operating in the coastal zone, a small diesel-electric submarine has a chance of sinking the Virginia or even the Seawolf, which are hunting for our Borei-class submarines from the Northern and Pacific fleets. Their high level of stealth also allows diesel-electric submarines to be used in the restricted waters of the Black and Baltic Seas. However, here the downside of their quiet propulsion system, powered by batteries, comes into play. According to TASS, the Project 677 Lada diesel-electric submarine is an improved version of the Project 877 Paltis or Varshavyanka. The stated design objective is to completely replace Project 877 with a primary requirement of minimizing noise. The project was developed by the Rubin Central Design Bureau for Marine Engineering, St. Petersburg, from the 1990s under the supervision of Chief Engineer Yuri Kormilitsyn. The Admiralty Shipyard was the manufacturer of all submarines under this project. TASS noted that Project 677 has a single hull structure. Compared to the Lada Project 877 submarines, Project 677 submarines are described as having lower noise levels and a higher degree of automation. These are factors that directly impact survivability when operating in an anti-submarine environment, where the advantage usually lies with the first to detect. Sources indicate that the surface displacement of Project 677 is nearly 1.3 times lower than that of Project 877, while its submerged speed is also faster. For diesel-electric submarines, these two parameters are often linked to overall design optimization, potentially impacting performance and maneuverability during patrol or target approach missions. The primary propulsion system for Project 677 is diesel-electric. TASS also noted that this class of submarine could be equipped with an anaerobic, airless, propulsion system with a chemical generator to increase endurance and range. The Rubin Central Design Bureau is developing this system. The information above indicates an open direction for upgrades, but at the level of potentially available and under development, so it needs to be distinguished from the confirmed configurations currently in operation on each specific ship. According to TASS, the main weapon is the Caliber Cruise Missile System, capable of launching multiple missiles simultaneously at sea. Within the mission framework of a diesel-electric submarine, 
This salvo launch capability increases the probability of penetrating defenses and expands firepower options from a stealthy position, depending on combat conditions and target designations. According to TASS, export versions of the Project 677 Amor, 950, and Amor, 1650 have been developed. However, the source did not provide detailed specifications or configuration differences, so an in-depth assessment of compatibility or system modifications needs to be based on other official technical documents. TASS describes Project 677 as being designed to destroy enemy surface ships, patrol, reconnaissance, protect sea lanes, lay mines, and perform other tasks. This class of ship can operate in all weather conditions, in shallow and deep waters across the world's oceans, except for areas of perpetual ice. In terms of force deployment, the aforementioned tasks are consistent with the typical roles of diesel-electric submarines, stealth operations, lurking in target areas, controlling shipping lanes, and creating deterrent pressure through underwater attack capabilities. Improvements in noise levels and automation, as TASS mentioned, could help increase operational efficiency and reduce crew load, especially during extended patrols. According to the quoted content, among the Russian Navy fleets, the Baltic fleet is described as having the most developed training infrastructure, including military science and training centers in St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad. The flagship mentioned is the Sovereignty class destroyer Nastoichevi, Project 956. The Russian Ministry of Defense also announced that since 2017, the Baltic Fleet's support units have been supplied with several new support ships and submarines. The Air Force has received Su-30 SM multirole fighter jets and upgraded Ka-29 helicopters. The fleet participated in activities such as joint exercises with the Chinese Navy Joint C-2017, the Russia-Belarus Joint Exercises Zapat-2017, and many other large-scale exercises, and also carried out several special missions in the Mediterranean. In this context, the completion of the flag-raising ceremony for Velikai Luki adds another Project 677 diesel-electric submarine platform to the force, with features that TASS emphasizes as lower noise levels, higher automation, and the potential for future propulsion upgrades, along with the caliber system as its primary weapon.